Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt in Japan coming at you with another video review. Uh, this time we got Power of the Primes Terracon Cutthroat. And again, I picked up this set along with uh, Sinner Twin from a Malaysian buyer, the uh, Facebook group I'm, I belong to. And um, yeah, happy to have this guy in hand. So uh, let's take a quick look at him. First of all, let's go to the card. Um, and I love that artwork. I think just the consistency on this artwork has just been great. Love it. Um, and I got the Alpha Trion Cutthroat. Knows the strategy to eliminate any enemy. So that's kind of interesting. Alpha Trion. Um, and taking a look at Cutthroat here. Um, and just like uh, Sinner Twin, I do have, a, I think, just one issue with this guy. And, and I've heard uh, other reviewers say the same thing. Um, I was having a heck of a time with the head um, last night uh, when I got him. Kept falling off. The, uh, the under part of the mouth kept falling off. I'm sure in this review it'll fall off. Um, it's just that the pegs are not deep enough or long enough to actually hold the head on. So it's, during transformation you have to be either really be careful or just I just take it off and put it back on because it seems to be the easiest way to do it. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm, you know, if you've seen Soup, uh, Power of the Prime Soup, then you've seen uh, Cutthroat. So really nothing new. I mean, obviously the colors and everything. Um, and they did a really nice job uh, with the uh, paint apps again. Um, we got the silver picked out there. And here, especially the legs in robot mode, um, this looks really cool. I really love that design there. And the silver picked up on the feet. And you get some nice molded detail throughout um, the wings and things like that. The stamped product numbers there. Um, and he can store his uh, gun on the back there. There is a small hole right there. I figured you can just hold it there. Um, but I'll take it off for now. And yeah, the, uh, the bird head is uh, really cool. Just wish it stayed on better. The nice Decepticon symbol on the beak. Yeah, really, uh, the colors are great. Really vibrant, really really stands out. So yeah, let's bring in uh, his G1 self, Cutthroat. There he is, in all his glory. Um, and of course, you got the unpainted head. Uh, but I mean, as far as the color scheme, look at that. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like dead on. They really did a nice job. Even picking out that sort of design at the bottom. It's a little bit different, but uh, it's, a, it's a great homage. And the sort of fa rub symbol there. Um, but yeah, all in all, they uh, they really got this one. Uh, they got a home run, hit a home run with this guy. Really nice homage. Of course, you have the Decepticon stickers on the wings of the G1, which you don't on the Power of the Primes. Um, but yeah, for the most part. Pretty nice, pretty nice homage they did there. So we'll take a quick break and uh, hopefully his head won't fall off and I'll get him in robot mode. Okay, so we're back with Cutthroat in robot mode and take a quick look at him. Get close up here. First, take a look at the head sculpt. They did a really nice job on the head sculpt. The, uh, the red eyes, the silver painted face. Going down, you get the bird head there. Septicon symbol. And um, yeah, the robot legs look really cool. Just love all that silver, silver accents and stuff. Um, on the box, it says, you know, you can have the, the wings out like this. Um, but I'll show you, you know, in uh, comparatively to the uh, the G1 figure, it's, I, don't know, I kinda like them just pulled back a little bit. Um, kinda gives it the more accurate look. Um, articulation is, you know, same as you expect. I mean, if you, if you've transformed Swoop or if you own Power of the Prime Swoop, then basically you've transformed, uh, this guy pretty easy. You didn't really have to look at the, uh, instructions at all. Pretty straightforward if you have Swoop. Um, so yeah, it's going around. So yeah, I like to have his wings back. I mean, they, they almost the exact same wings as Swoop. Minus the color. Um... But everything folds up real nice, and uh, you know the the bird legs kind of sit on the side of the legs. They don't bother me at all. They're pretty compact as far as 
Um, as far as space and stuff, let's get his double blaster there. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys what I meant. So when you transform him, you're supposed to pull this whole piece up and over his head like that. And of course, oop, okay, there it goes. All right, so if you look here, you see these little tiny pegs here, little tiny posts there. And they go into these on the side here. And what happens is, because these aren't long enough, they just tend to fall off. So you'll put it back on and get it on here. Are they on? Yeah, I think they're on. But I mean, it doesn't even, you know, it hardly even fills up the, uh, the hole there. So like when you're, when you're moving it back and forth, I mean, it just comes off so easily. So what I do, I just put this down and then afterwards I go in and line it up. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just too bad. I mean, that, that could have been easily fixed. Just make the pegs a little bit longer. That's my only really complaint. Otherwise, this guy's really nice and tight. Um, he's got the waist swivel. Um, really poseable. You know, about 90 degrees at the at the knee and stuff. Um, you got the arms. You can't really go back because of his wings, but he can go out. He's got the uh, bicep swivel. And his, his wrists, because of the transformation, can kind of go in and out. And also the cool thing is you can put his gun on the side of his arm, so he can have kind of like a kind of like a side, you know, sidearm gun on either on either uh, either arm there. Um, but without further ado, let's bring in his G1 self. Stage left. Here we go, and do the comparisons. And yeah, you get the uh, get the same red eyes. Um, on down, you know, like I said before, the uh, the color scheme is just spot on. You get the double barrel, you get the little red accent on the uh, the crotch there, and they replicated that those stickers really nicely. Um, going around, so yeah, so because of the transformation on the G1 figure, let's put that guy down. Um, when you transform him, these arms go in like that, right? So in robot mode. The, the wings are pulled back. So I kind of like the, uh, just to keep it like that. But again, your toy, do what you want. Um, going around, you know, of course the G1, you got those big legs out there. I like to just use it like that. I put it like that because, because it becomes like, kind of like heel spurs. It makes him stand up a little better. That might not be the official transformation, but that's what I do. At the back there, inside. Um, so yeah, yeah, they did a real, uh, real nice job. Again, my only complaint is just that bird head keeps falling off. So other than that, love it. Colors, paint apps, posability, everything. Um, and again, can't wait to get uh, Abominus. And let's just bring in, I'll bring in uh, Center Twin here. Let's do a quick shot of both guys there bring in center twin and the g1 guys there so so yeah very good uh very good likenesses on both figures um overall yeah i'm, I'm really happy to have these guys in my collection and again once i get abominus set up uh i'll be doing a review on him too so um, waiting on Ripper Snapper. I had Ripper Snapper, then I sold him, then I bought him again because I didn't know if I was going to do Abominus or not. And then I decided, yeah, I want him. He looks awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting on Ripper Snapper and um, Blot to come from the States. So I'll have him in another week and a half or so. So uh, until Abominus, uh, thanks for watching. It's been Matt in Japan.